Take a look at Cabell, Kemp. Somebody grabs on their feet here. Freshman versus the senior. Play remains as active and loud. That pitch, swing and a miss. He gets Cabell. A swing to end the game. So a nice job by Kyle Kemp to get back-to-back -back strikeouts with the bases loaded to give the Knights their first win in Tallahassee since 2014, and it snaps the nine-game skid against the Knowles. Jason, you got to credit UCF again. Dodged a bullet all night long. Florida State bases loaded four different times in the game. Had opportunities. You got to credit the pitching to getting it done in the ninth. As you mentioned there, Knowles out hit the Knights 11 to 10, but the Knowles leave 15 runners on base. Just couldn't get them across the plate to close out the game. So Knights victorious. Their second straight, their second win over a ranked opponent on the road. Went in to beat Florida and Gainesville when they were ranked in the top 10. Won that game 12 to 9. They come into Tallahassee, a place that hasn't been kind to them. They beat the Knights 9 to 7 here. Excuse me, the Knights beat the Knowles 9 to 7 here in Tallahassee. So take a look at UCF's upcoming schedule. They'll travel to ECU for a weekend series to open AAC play. Then they're home against North Florida. And they will face UConn in a home series in the American Athletic Conference. And they go at Stetson and then South Florida at home. So UCF, like I said, will go head back to Orlando and then they'll head out to East Carolina. And we'll so the Knights victorious here. Earn win number 15 on the year. Run 15 and 6. The Knowles now 14 and 5. We're going to toss it down to Blake Devine, who's got Matthew Miko down with him. Blake? Guys, I'm here with senior second baseman Matthew Micah. Matthew, 2 for 5 at the plate tonight. A big win for your team. But what inspired your superhero effort at the plate? <laughs> you know, uh, I think a lot of people take uh, this game a little too serious. And, uh, you know, I just like to go out there and have fun and relax and just, uh, you know, let my ability to hit the ball take care of itself. You guys snap a five-game losing streak to the Seminoles and another big Rick victory on the road against Florida. What does this mean for your team moving forward? Uh, you know, it just means that we're, we're good enough. We're good enough to compete against, uh, you know, those top-notch teams. And, uh, you know, we're going to continue to win. And uh, even on the road, we're going to continue to win and uh, compete. Guys have won five of six. Excited for conference play to finally begin. Yes, yes. We're excited. We take on uh, ECU this weekend. We're headed over there, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a good series. Awesome. Congrats on the performance. Thank you. Guys? Blake, Matthew, thank you. And there you see Greg Lovely talking to his team. <laughs> Came back out of the locker room to, you know, uh, congratulate his team on the well heartfelt victory here tonight. So the Knights victorious over the, the 19th ranked Knowles. Behind the combined effort of Matthew Micah, who goes two for five. So for Chip Baker, I'm Jason Latermi, Blake Devine, saying so long from Tallahassee, where the final score is UCF 9, Florida State 7. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live on the ESPN app. To watch the game in its entirety, as well as other games of our ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com. This